Welcome to 1 in 20 D&D. Hello and welcome to another session in the Kingdom of Agic. I am Gregory, this is 1 in 20 D&D, and welcome to session 47. We have our adventurers currently down in the Black Geode, which is one of the elemental nodes, specifically the node of Earth. In the bowels of this old drow, um, I guess, caverns, below an old dwarven, uh, 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 those were what do we call them, corridors, and it was a, a dwarven temple or something like this below another monastery. So there's like levels upon levels here underground that we have come. Last time in the game, what we had was a, a little bit of combat where you guys basically... Uh, annihilated three baby burrow shark uh, sorry baby bullet the apparent tamer of these bullets popped up out of the floor hurtled itself at Boslon and that's sort of where we left off it didn't actually uh, make its attack yet or anything so that's where we're coming in right now uh, this was just after Boslon had uh, had gone so he tries to land on Boslon before we get into that uh, we do I wanted to take care of two things one is anyone that has a passive perception of 15 or higher which might only be Kyra uh, but anyone else that does I have I go to 15 you do have 50 okay so you both yeah. here you're you're kind of your keen elven hearing uh, you have actually is yours 15 or 14. 15. Did it go up? Oh, okay. Great. It must... Oh, because everybody's... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Proficiency. Your proficiencies went up. Awesome. Yeah. So let me fix that. So that means... That must mean that... Uh, uh, Kaylin, you have a 15 as well then. Or you should. Because um, yours put a, pr would have went up as well. And that might even mean that Boslon has one. Let me double check him there. Uh, get Grog, would you check for me as well what yours is? Uh, perception. Oh, Boslan is a 16 perception. Wow, look at that. Where's that? Lucky. So this is a per your passive perception. So it's perception plus 10, basically. If you get, oh, no, if you I'm not even close. What do you have, a plus? <laughs> you should plus have, one. Plus one, okay, so. Oh, but, but. It, huh. Oh, it's not including. You're not. You're not uh, proficient. proficient. In it. I see. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you have. All right. So that. So the rest of you. So everyone except for Gigrot, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you have heard in the. There was like a moment of silence uh, after taking down the last bullet, right before the other one jumped up, where you hear again um, the sounds of like a, a smithy. And it sounds like it's coming from this corridor to the lower corridor that heads to the east. There are two corridors, two cavern passages that head off to the east, uh, the, the northern and the southern. The one that's more to the south with, with this arrow, because it's indicating that it's like sloping down slightly, is where you sort of hear the noise bubbling up from or you know, pinging and clanging a little bit here and there. Uh it does seem to continue, which is interesting. Um, and that's one thing I wanted to handle. The other thing I wanted to handle was sort of a question that Kaylin had about. Uh, we, were, we were discussing a little bit about these uh, the orbs uh, that he has been able to kind of through the hammer figure out that he can d create one of these destruction orbs somewhere down here. Uh, give me an insight roll, and I'm going to give you advantage on this. Okay. This should answer some of the question. Insight. Yes, sir. Oh, great. <laughs> for, for a nice first roll there. Uh, so with a nat 20 on the advantage, um, even the first roll, 17 and a 20. Very good. Uh, so with a 24. So... You recall the message that was sent to Faerun from the high 
uh, mage of Agic mentioned an earthquake. And you have this sense that if you create one of these orbs here in the Black Earth node, that it's probably going to have like it's a devastation orb that's probably going to have that quality or that characteristic that that's what it does um so you feel like they maybe they are they create them here created one here and that's what caused the earthquake that shook agic got it Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. But you're pretty... You have a hunch, let's say. A pretty good hunch uh, with that nat 20. So, with that, uh, let's get some uh, combat music going and uh, get right into it. Uh, so, the burrow shark jumps up out of the dirt. He's going to try to stomp on uh, Baselon. Uh... So first, the burrow shark gets to uh, make its attack. I'm uh, sorry, I keep doing that. First, the bullet gets to make his attack. Uh, he did. He did this deadly leap. So he tried to jump, literally jump on Baslan. So uh, uh, in in this uh, land, it's on its feet in a space that could okay so he's trying to land on Boslon who has to make a strength saving throw well strength or dexterity but he's gonna make a uh, strength which he probably oh yeah he easily succeeds so you've seen he's he hasn't actually seen this attack but maybe Farron mentioned it to him or something like that or, or one of you kind of pointed it out at some point like these suckers can do this so he was somewhat prepared, plus he is just not having it. So at the last moment, he puts his shield up, sets his foot, and the beast kind of like impacts the shield, but doesn't knock him back over and slides to the ground in front of him. Uh, his mount, the rider, is going to take some pokes with his spear and... Uh, in the same moment so he gets to make three attacks one finally makes it through Boslon's defenses the first two uh, ring harmlessly off his armor he is going to reduce that by three because of his uh, heavy armor mastery so he takes a total of four piercing from the burrow shark and that is the turn for it so Farron, uh, you heard this eruption of earth in the corner. It was it, it kind of came out of the ground somewhere right over here. And then uh, tried to pounce on Boslon to no avail or to very little effect. What would you like to do? I'll move up to there. Okay. <clears throat> and I will take some shots at it. All right. So pulling Storm Fury taut and releasing your first arrow. Uh, are you aiming at the rider or the mount? Uh, the mount. Okay. So, the bullet. Alright. So, you pierce the bullet for five piercing. So, it's, so it kind of, plus it kind three. of catches it between, plus three, okay, perfect. So, a total of eight. Uh, you kind of catch it between one of the pl armor plates, but it's sort of this glancing blow. It, 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 you know, you see a tiny nick of blood, but it's not the uh, deadly wound you were hoping for. Uh, mm -hmm. Second attack. Yep. Uh, that's a, a solid hit. <laughs> a little more solid hit. Again, doesn't do quite a huge amount of damage, but it's starting to, you know, it's starting the flow of blood. <laughs> uh, anything else? Bonus action. Uh, oh, you already no. did some movement. No, that's that's it. I'm, I will be okay. Cool. All right, so Gikarot, uh, you're standing behind these guys, but you can clearly see this beast. 
You're gonna send the hammer flying, I would imagine. All right. First throw is a hit for nine bludgeoning damage. Uh, again, same question, rider or mount? The rider, all right. So the rider gets clobbered for first nine and then a critical hit for 16. That's 25 bludgeoning damage in one, sh in two quick shots, two quick throws of the hammer. Well done. He seems slightly dazed, but kind of like shakes his head and pulls himself together. Uh, movement or a bonus action? Excuse me. Okay, very good. Kyra, back to the top of the order. What would you like to do? Uh, I think you're muted. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. No worries. No, no worries. I, I was I wasn't time. muted. Ah, um, just thinking. I was thinking of something. <laughs> no worries. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do something. You do that... still have the the flaming sphere going, so if you want to, you know, use. Oh that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So know. this is this is what I'd like to do. Uh, first, um, I'm going to put this over here for my bonus action. I'm gonna. Cool. Um, ram it into the. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, so Dex... Probably it's gonna. Initially, I'm gonna ram it into the um, the rider. Okay. But well, it'll, it'll just settle right they're, there. <laughs> they're they're uh, considered to be taking the same spot. Oh, okay. So it'll be both of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, question uh, is, uh, would you? Do me the favor, though, to remember to uh, drop the round. Yeah, round. I did it immediately. Okay. I, I, it's the first thing I thought of. The uh, moving sphere is, uh, where the heck is it? Uh, I'm going to, I will post it again for you. Dexterity saving throw. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, so for the rider and for the mount. There we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, and So the mount eats it, but the rider does not. Oh, I only see one. That's so it. half. Oh, thanks. Half. You put it back up. Thank you. All right. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'll check it to make sure it posts everything, but I'll just roll it real quick. Um, the rider takes half. Yes. Okay. Very good. And and that was at second level or third level? I don't remember. As two, it says. I As two. I think it was at yeah. second level. Oh wait, let me let me zoom back up to where. Oh so... no, I don't know. You know what? Because yeah, it yeah. was it was level two. It was okay. Thank two. you. Because I was like, I remember doing it at level three, but that might have been on a different. I think one. so. Yeah. All right. So give so, me some damage. Cause I, I had, yeah, because I still have stuff left. So sure. I did it when I was out. Sure. No worries. Um. All right. So two d six, right? Yes, three d six. And then um something else. Oh, I almost rolled oh, 2D6, max. 2d6, 2d6, right. All right, so 11 max. All right. So, so uh, and again, rider I'm, takes half, I guess. Yeah, I'm rounding up to do to make this go a little faster. So the rider takes six, and uh, the bullet takes the full 11. And I am going to use my action yes. to do something different. I'm going to take dancing lights and just put them in the rider's face. All Hopefully right. to kind of blind him a little bit just for a sec. Okay. Um, so he maybe doesn't know where he's going to be running off to or hurt anybody. Who knows? Whatever. I don't know how it was going to happen, what's going to he'll react, but that's what I'm doing. All right. And then I'm going to walk myself this way. Is is the map looking okay for everybody? I should have asked that way early. I, did, I forgot. Uh, I, I just have a question. What's this uh, red orb? That's, the that's my flaming sphere. Oh, got it. Yeah. It's not technically a fireball. Ball <laughs> of fire. There we go. Fireball. Yep, that's right. So you're just going to try to, like, dazzle him with some uh, a light in his face. Yep. There are four lights. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to give him disadvantage on his first attack next round. How about that? So um, as he tries to get it out of his face. Thank you. Yeah, sure. That was creative. Uh, all right, and then you move over there. All right. Oh, those are stone walls. So give me an acrobatic check. Oh, 
I didn't know that. Show they me are? how you can leap over them. Yeah, they're, okay, they're, well, you're, you're yeah, okay. Come on. They're about okay. waist high. Sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they good. look just like the other ones, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. You good? Um, I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna fall on my face. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Or I'm gonna be a you, ballerina. You, you just like parkour <laughs> over it. It's not even. You you put your foot on the. You even yell parkour. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. All right, Kaylin, show us what you got, man. All right. So I am going to move right behind him. Um. Does me yeah. flanking him and, and doing all that get an advantage to attack or no? So in order to do that, you'll need to be in this square. Uh, I think you have enough movement. Let me double check. So you have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I'll say you can do it. So you gotta you kind of run over here, battle tactics, uh, and you can definitely get... I will watch that later, my friend. Um, advantage? You can definitely get advantage. Yes. Yes. All right. We do that in this so, game, so. We're going to do a little one. All right. That's a hit. Uh, again, uh, rider or mount? I mean rider. All for right. Sh for shizzy. All right. For shizzy. All right. All right. So he gets clobbered in the back for a whopping 18, followed by another nine. Both of those hit, and then I'm assuming you're going to take a slash with the longsword. Is, is he still alive? Oh, yes, he is. Okay, okay. You, you've then bloodied I him. Definitely. You have bloodied him now. Uh, and one more. So a total of, let's see, what did I say? 27 plus 5, so 32. 32 piercing and thunder and slashing. All kinds of, he's getting all kinds of torn up. Uh, he's not doing so great right now. Um... Keltar looks at Farron and said, is this, this, is this going to take much longer? <laughs> and then it is our Shrugging. friend, the uh, Burrow Shark's turn. He's pretty angry. Uh, the Bullet is going to try to bite at uh, Boslan, but the Rider is going to turn and try to deal with you now. Uh, having clobber oh my god what a horrible all right the bullet is has no chance uh, just tries to snap out at boss Lawn, and uh, with the rider twisting around in the saddle it kind of throws him off a little uh, but our friend the bird okay so I said disadvantage on his first attack so here's his first attack with disadvantage uh, still a 19 which I think hits and that is a soft crit for 12 piercing damage. Uh, second one is also a big hit. 24 for another 12. And his third, 16. Does a 16 hit, Kaylin? Uh, no, 18. Okay, so two hits for a total of 24 piercing damage. You get poked in one shoulder, poked in the other shoulder, you're bleeding brutally he just like, he just caught right, you know, right where the breastplate and the shoulder meet and there's that little gap in the armor he just caught that perfect spot twice and uh, you are definitely feeling the effects of that. Oh yeah, he, he fucked me up, there ain't no doubt. Alright, so that was 24 points piercing and at that time, Bosslon says I'll take care of this, Kalen. And he will, uh, with Wind Vane, take his two attacks. Now, he is going to... Uh, he's using his shield, so he's going to take one attack. That's a hit. Oh, two attack. He's supposed to be with... All right, so I forgot to do advantage. So that's his first... That's his advantage. So it's a crit. I'm going to use a second bit of damage because it's just easy. Oh, no, wait. It doesn't... I thought we fixed this. It doesn't have his... Alright, so he's going to get an extra six points of damage. I'm actually going to use the first one, and it is a critical hit. And I will do advantage on this. Uh, and then <coughs> quickly edit this so that it works for the future. So just give me a moment. Six crit. 
Let's see if that works. I think that's going to do it. All right, so hopefully that works. All right, so his second Wait, attack so with advantage because he's flanking. What was that, Fair? I was just going to say, I think the first attack was 25 total. Thank you. That should be right. 14, 20, 22. 22. 14 plus 6 plus 2. So 22 damage from the first attack. And he is going to send that at the mount, I think, uh, since it tried to bite him. Uh, the rider looks like he's nearing death, but uh, let's see. All right, and then his second attack with Wind Vane uh, is another hit. Not quite as effective, but uh, still another 14 piercing. Hey, Gregory. Yes, ma'am. Since he didn't move out of the way of my ball, did you, on his turn, both of them give them their additional fire damage? Oh, crud. I did not think of that. Uh, I didn't think you did. I was kind of waiting for it, but I didn't want to interrupt. No. But I... yeah, if they stay in there, they take it again at the beginning of their turn. Yeah, the, he would have moved... Uh... The funny thing is, one way or the other, he was going to take advan uh, take uh, opportunity attack. So, yeah. um, shoot. Uh, it's at the beginning of their turn, huh? Mm-hmm. Right uh, at the end. No, at the beginning. I don't know. It says it in there somewhere. End. <laughs> Ends its turn within five feet. It Ends must make a deck save. Okay. Uh, so, so it gets a deck save. It, well, he wouldn't end his turn there. He was—he was. I was gonna have a move because of the uh, flanking, so he was gonna try to get out of the way from that a little bit. Um, but that gives Kalen an opportunity to take a. Uh, yeah, because it would have happened a while back, but I didn't want to interrupt and be rude about it. Um, but then I figured, well, if you're like saying, "Oh, he's almost dead," I'm like, "Well, then he would have been dead." Well, it's—it's it's at the. It was eleven. It's at the, the end or the beginning? It's at the if they end. Stop. At the end of their turn, the I end. guess. Yeah, so he yep. won't take it because I definitely was going to have a move, so he wasn't trying yeah, to avoid but the flanking. Didn't he go a while back though? Are they? Is that the Keller and Worgen or whatever? No, the Roygen or whatever down oh, here. Gosh. Keller's the dude that's I helping forgot us. to. I see what you're saying. I was doing boss. I'm getting confused. I was doing Bosselon's turn. I forgot to move him. Yeah, so that's he would have. So he would have taken it. Yeah, yeah, because I forgot to move. That's fair. I didn't mean to leave him there, but I forgot. So that was my fault. So he'll. So go ahead and roll two g six. Yeah, I know Keller is a guy up there chilling, but oh, okay. I got roll it again. I need to change that thing. Oh, not that much this time. Three. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh. So let me see. So all right. Uh, so the rider deck the rider fails the bullet uh, let's see uh, he succeeds okay so the bullet takes two fire and the rider takes whoops uh, takes two and the rider takes three fire so they're continuing continuing to crackle and burn. Not 32, just three. All right. Uh, oh, that didn't... Did that work right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, Ryder's looking really, really bad right now. Uh, but that's the end of Bosslon's turn. Uh, so Farron is back to you. Yep. I will take two shots at the blood again. All right. No. Let us reconnect after Farron's turn. That misses probably... Uh, that does miss. That was at the rider, correct? Oh, no, both at the bullet. Uh, oh, both at the bullet. Uh, this yeah, bullet is miss. tougher than that. Yeah, it kind of harmlessly, um, you know, it, there's a click, click, as it, like, just sh skids off the thick plates of, ar of mm -hmm. natural armor of the bullet. Uh, so, uh, that was fair. So, Farron, did you want to do any bonus action or movement? Nah. Um, I'm alright. Okay. I'll just miss, miss. Uh, fantastic. Alright. Right. Threes. Alright, so, uh, then it is going to be Gitrot's turn. 
Okay. <clears throat> so is the uh, the rider down or is no, the rider still? No. He's looking real. He's looking pretty darn hurt. He's kind of like sagging in the saddle. Uh, he's still holding it together, but but definitely feeling the pain. Gotcha. All right. Um, uh, the so bullet I'm gonna... looks to be bloodied as well. I'm gonna go for the the rider first. Okay. Crash. Uh, that is actually not enough. It careens off of his stone armor. That should hit. <laughs> uh, critical will do it. Uh, so woohoo, woo woo. Uh, to another nat twenty. Uh, so he takes a whopping fifteen points of uh bludgeoning damage from that. Um and now looks to be hanging on by a hair hair's breath, a a thread as it were. Uh he is definitely on death's door. Alrighty. Uh that's all it should be more? No that, yeah. that, that's right. Yeah. It's double the dice. Um no remember so we're you... doing max die plus a roll? So it, yeah, but it's it, it's max all the die plus a roll, so that that two should it should be it should be oh, five plus eight so, plus two so it plus be eight. Another eight. Yes, you're yeah. absolutely right. That's what was going on with the wind vane before, because it was like the two lightning oh, damage is a d6. That's what it was like. Oh, 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 it should be eleven plus six yes, plus thank two you for plus the reminder. Six. You're right. I yes yes I forgot. So, I got it. So we're adding, so it's 16 plus 7, which is uh, 23. All right, so that, uh, that just obliterates the rider. He go, he falls to the ground. Uh, the bullet is now uh, standing by itself with no rider. Uh, is there anything else Gitgrot is going to do? No, that's all. All right, I'll put the bullet over on top here. So the bullet is standing there by itself. Uh, all right. So at, at almost the same moment or a moment later, um, you see somebody comes running out of here. He's trying to get into, and he can, but he can only get up to Boslan. He can't actually do anything to Boslan because he ran. Um, then another one gets to about there he's gonna get to like there another one comes running out so you see a couple of these black earth guard uh what appears to be another what you've come to see as a stone melder uh and uh another burrow shark comes barreling through the surface uh and uh, hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm going to roll a die to determine which person he is going to try to get at. So, uh, <laughs> D6. Uh, oh, I could just do a roll. Uh, I'm going to do D6. It's easier. One, two is uh, going to be Boslon, uh, three, four, Kaylin, five, six, Kyra. Okay, so I guess coming. Kyra it is. Yeah, he must have sensed your leap over the stone wall there, and essentially comes up out from under the wall. The wall just kind of like crumbles to the ground next to it, uh, uh -huh. and uh, he is going to get an attack, but he can't jump on you, so the bullet tries to bite. Uh, misses heinously. It tries to chomp down on you, and like some of the stones from the wall get caught up in its j craw. <laughs> it can't. It can't quite get a uh, shot on you. But uh, but our friend on the back of the burrow shark is going to take a couple of shots. He misses with his first one. You d you dodge to one side, but the second two catch you uh squarely in the shoulder and the chest he gives you a, a gnarly 17 piercing points of damage the uh this this guard that got up to boss on cannot attack but the stone melder is gonna try to oh crud i gotta pull up his 
Ugh, I never added him in. I keep forgetting that I gotta put all... I put the spells in for this guy, and then it got wiped, and I keep forgetting to fix it. So I have to go do it manually, so bear with me while I pull him up. He is gonna do probably some spellcasty stuff. Oh, uh, where is that? Where are you, brothers? Uh, there we go, there we go. Right there. So he comes up um, and is going to... Hmm. I think he's going to try to do... Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So he catches... Mm, does he catch a glimpse? He sees probably the two of you. I'm going to give him a uh, perception check. Let's see what he sees. If he sees... Pretty good. All right. So he is going to do uh, erupting earth. Uh, Kyra has that on her spell sheet, right? Yep. Would you do me a you favor? Me and, yeah, I would really appreciate that. It just makes okay. it so much easier. I think it's a 20-foot cube yep. if i remember I right i actually thinking about doing it myself <laughs> right on uh i won't if he does it or i'll think about it so he's got a 20 foot cube and he's gonna try to plop it right well he doesn't know that uh gitgrot is there but unfortunately gitgrot's gonna get caught in it because he did see farin um, so he was trying to catch both Boslon and Farron in that. And unfortunately, Gitgrot happened to be just in the wrong place for that. Yes. Um, so this, so the, the, the ground, there's this tremble in the, in the rocks and debris and dirt, the packed, uh, floor be beneath you. Uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Uh... Oh, no, he does not have advantage. That was an accident. I forgot to turn it off. So a 12 plus 3 is 15 is... I think that's going to be enough. Yes, it is. All right, so uh, Farron, you miss, and Gitgrot, you miss. All right, so you guys are going to mm -hmm. take 3d12 damage. Ouch. Uh, so two, that ain't three, cool, Greg. 12. 17! bludgeoning damage mm. from that uh earth so you kind of lose your footing uh, they they it causes you to fall to the knee some of the stones like blast up in your face and uh, uh luckily our good friend Boslon with his nimble feet even though he's in that crazy ass armor somehow manages to only take uh nine points of damage from that so I will send that to the back so you guys can more easily grab your token there. There you go. So Boslon still doing very well. He's got most of his hit points. so But he takes 9. Uh, and you guys each take 17. And that's the end of their rounds. Now I'm going to roll initiative for all of them. That was sort of a... Uh, like at the end. And I didn't want to roll the initiative before they were actually on the field. So that's his. Oh, dang it. I didn't give him. <sighs> Let me try that again. Oh, no. I hit the wrong dang bucket. That's what I'm trying to do. So he's got a seven. These guys are going on. Four. Terrible. So no wonder they were at the end of the round. <laughs> they were actually at the end of the round. <laughs> and uh, this Bro shark is going on initiative. What? I had him selected. Why didn't he work? On six. All right. Well, so that makes perfect sense. That's why uh, it got all jazzed up. So let me reorder this initiative and then we are again at the top of the order with Kyra. So you, you, you figure, okay, you know, when you passed, um, there was a corridor, you can't quite see it, but but as you came up this corridor, there was another corridor that went off towards the west. And I don't remember if our friend Keltar told you or if maybe somebody glim glimpsed it. There were 
some individuals in there doing some kind of prayers, meditation, or something like this. Yeah, we did see them because we snuck up. That's right. You snuck by them. So apparently they uh, they must have been alerted by the sounds of battle, and you obviously can imagine that's why they have joined the fray. So, All right, so Kyra, you have this belay and burrow shark in your face, uh, bleeding from a new puncture in your body. What would you like to do? How are you going to retaliate? Okay. Um, so I'm going to let's see. 15, 20, 25. All right. So I'm going to move this as my bonus action over to here. And I'm going to ram it. Um, coming this way because this would be th 30 would be here and then I'm going to ram it into this guy right here. Okay, sure. So you kind of spin it around behind Bossalon and uh, he's like, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> and then it plows into the bullet. Uh, so he's got to make another deck save. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, so he, that should have been a saving throw, but not a check. But it's still the same, so it doesn't change. So it's a nice. So he succeeds, but he's still gonna take some damage. All right. So the total was ten. They do take half, right? They still take half, right? Yeah. Total was ten, so half. Okay, 10. so five. All right. So he All takes right, another so five. And I'm leaving it there. Damage. So they'll have to move out the way, or they're going to get toasty again. Yep. And for my action, I'm going to follow up with uh, an erupting earth of my own. Okay. And... I'm going to put it... Cubity it cube. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to take it... And I'm going to put it here to get so you, um, the two individuals, this this bullet and um, this guy here, and to make it difficult to rain. Uh, if if you want, you could uh, we could like you could get all three of them if that's your intention. Um, something well, like, it would like have that. been, but I didn't know if I could, so yeah. that's why. I... Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, like, just catches them, so that that's enough. Okay. Again, so, yeah. you know, like, the grid is, like, it, it makes it a little too precise, but, yeah, right. the idea, they're, they're close enough. They're within 20 feet of each other, so like, less so, than 20 feet, uh, so. 3D12, I guess I gotta fix that one, too. I'll fix it in a minute, um, so I'll just roll it. All right, so fix it. Um, fix the other one, but I didn't know I had to fix erupting earth, even though I just cast and I didn't even realize it. No, no worries. Uh, so the bullet has to make a deck save. Yeah, I'll, this is the bullet by himself. He okay. fails. The one that has a rider uh, also fails, and yeah. the uh, black earth guard is. Also, all right, so all three of them are totally surprised. Even though they should be ready for this kind of thing, they're totally... Hey, I think I rolled better than average. I rolled an 11, a 10, and a womp womp, a 1. So, oh. 22. And a womp womp? You rolled a womp womp? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 22. 22. All right, that's solid. Uh, so they all are uh, unhappy and uh, stumbling. Uh, so, all right. Hopefully, so, it'll take them forever to get to Kalen. I'm hoping. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to slow things down a little. That's for sure. And Movement? Hopefully, um, or are you going to stay where you are? No, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Uh, that seemed like it kind of rocked the world of the uh, of the, the Black Earth Guard in front of Bosslon. Uh, he, he's, he, he is bloody already now. Not looking happy. Uh, the bullet seems to be fine. Uh, the bu this bullet 
uh, the first one that has no rider is almost dead. You can tell it's like the scales are trashed. It's 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 barely standing. It's it's hurting for certain. Oh, that All thing's right. still alive. Just barely, just barely. Ugh. I know. All right, Kalen, you can All finish right, it. Well, eh, well, I, got, I was hoping not. I was hoping. To, All right. Well, we'll just have to do it. Well, let's we'll have to take it out. You have advantage. All right. Let's do this. Let's do wham. Boom! So that just obliterates. You just you just crush its spine under your under the powerful blow from Iron Fang. Now, now, Greg, is this? I'm sorry. This shadowed area. Can I walk through this or no? So there are two. One was created by uh, Kyra. I'm gonna use your color of yellow to make it just so we know it was from you. Okay. Uh, that seems like the easiest Did thing to do Did you want me to I got it. Yeah, it's got it. I got it. Uh, so that one's yellow. So the the squares are erupting Earth. The yellow one was Kyra's. Uh, it still is difficult terrain for everyone, though. So, so it's still erupting. It, no, it's no, just like it's, it's just like rough dirt now. It's like the dirt. There's like mounds and rocks, and it, it's not it's not smooth packed earth anymore. So right. it takes you two, you know, for every five, it takes ten. I can still get there. All right, so this still gives me advantage, though, correct? Uh, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Wait, wait, wait. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Uh, tw Technically, you can't get there unless okay, you. Work. You could jump. I mean, you. You don't have to go... Th oh, you want to get advantage, I see. Yeah. Uh, to get advantage, you'd have to be actually in this square. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, I'll just... Forget it. I'll just go right here. So you could get to here? Yeah, just stand by me. Yeah, no, I'm going to go I'm gonna go right by Kyra. That's fine. <laughs> All right, super. That's fine. I'll, I'll take, I'll take you myself off. Believe me, you guys advantage. barely need the advantage on this. This is You guys have been clobbering stuff. All right, so you have two more attacks. Yeah, so I'm just going to do my... I'm going to do my fine. Of course. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm, now, now. I miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I that's a solid that. hit with the, that's the long sword. So you set up your move, uh, rider or mount? Uh, rider. Okay, so I have to add another... Just so I have it, because it's way easier to track the hit points. Add that over here. Carry the two. Yep. It's a lot to keep track of. Luckily, the computer does most of it. All right, so that was nine points? How much damage yeah, did you Just get? nine. I missed on the, on the second attack, right. but my offhand hit. All right, fantastic. So, uh, Hopefully 21 hits. Yes, absolutely, the 21 hits. Um, all right, so that was your movement, bonus action, action. You are done. Yeah. So, uh, Rorgren is dead. His bullet is dead. Take him out of the thing. And uh, why is it not deleting, you sucker? <laughs> there we go. Uh, Keltar is uh, just standing there. Sort of, not quite impatiently, but just sort of just waiting. <laughs> just waiting. Like, what's going on here? Um, Boslan has somebody in his face that he's going to have to deal with, so he will do his best. One attack misses. Two attacks miss. So this heavy, heavily armored black earth guard with plate mail that's like st that is made of stone S the 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 spear just goes careening sparks flying off of this stone armor that he's wearing and Boslan is frustrated uh i believe he has has he used he has used his action surge so he does not get to be able to do that so he's done. Uh, he's not going to move. He's just going to stand his ground and fight. Farron, what would you like to do? Uh, oh, I thought he was going to take him out. He very uh, well could have, but unfortunately he did not. Yeah, I was like going to do something, and I'm like, uh, nah, everybody's going to kill everybody, so it's all fine. But now I can do that. Um, that Black Earth Guard that's just coming out of the tunnel? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him. All right. 
That's a hit. Uh, that is a miss. So your first hit, you you just like catch him in the neck, at right right atop of the uh, uh, what's it called the uh, gorget, and uh, it just cuts a nice fat gash in his neck. Uh, he takes seven piercing. The second attack hits him right in the chest, but it breaks on his armor harmlessly. Oh well, well that's fine. I will then spend two sorcery points. All right. Now I have none left. And I'm going to quicken fireball at level four. <laughs> Just kill everybody. Alrighty. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, okay. I am going that. to say that you should be able to... Yeah, I've been doing measurements. If I put it here, where was it? I think it was here. I should be able to get... It's 20 everybody. foot radius? Yeah. Uh -huh. 30 foot radius. 20. So let's make it a 20 foot radius. That should be 20 foot right there. That is 20 foot radius. So can you catch all three of them? Uh, there's a little bit of blowback uh, from it, but I will say that you can do it in such a way. I think way... if you move it up a bit, it should do it sort of like mostly like yeah. that so a good chunk of it sort of careens down the uh, corridor it, like blasts off this uh, corner of the wall right there all right so yeah. they got to make some Spender. deck saves right yep all right I'm gonna go left to right so stone melder fails nope. Wishes he had that nat 20. Uh, the first Black Earth Guard, who has not been touched, also nope. fails. The Black <laughs> uh, I know, right? Uh, I'm going to delete this circle since we know it got all three of them. Yeah. Uh, the Black Earth Guard in front of Bossalon succeeds. Yes. Uh, and let's see, the Burrow Shark, that is the rider, uh, he, oh my god, he rolled a nat one, so he fails, and the bullet he is riding succeeds. Ooh, oh, just makes it. Right, just makes it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got a 17. All right, so two successes, three failures, so... Uh, 31 rockin' points of fire damage. All right, so minus 31. Minus 16. Oh, that's nice. That helps. Minus 31. Uh, the the the, the uh the the dude in in the corridor here nearly got incinerated. Um, he is almost burnt to a crisp. He is down on his knees right now. Um. Even with a success, well, I'll say 30, so that would be 32, which is 16 points of damage. Likewise, his friend in front of Bosslon is literally nearly incinerated and on his knees. Uh, the rider is, is not happy. <laughs> uh, definitely bloodied at this point. Blackened, charred. Uh, the mount seems to be okay. It, it, it hasn't taken all that much yet. So it, that was the first damage it took. So that bullet still looking pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Well done. Uh, do you want to move? Yeah, I'm going to just go there. Okay, perfect. All right, so you shift over a little bit. I am done. Get grot. Show us what you got. So, how much health does this this guy here have? Uh, the rider not, looks... not health, but I mean, uh, how are they looking? Yeah, yeah. The rider looks pretty hurt, like like very hurt. Uh, not quite death's door, but darn, you know, darn injured compared to how he first looked when he got here. Uh, the the bullet looks pretty tough still. All right, and. You said this guy was the uh, yeah the two the, the two black earth guards. They're I mean game terms they got a, a one point each, <laughs> so they're they, like a stiff wind. They're barely standing. Over. They're they're not. They're literally on their knees. They're All like right. coughing and wheezing. They can barely breathe. Their lungs were singed. They're 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 in a bad way. 
I'm down to let them suffer. I'm gonna go for the blue, the blue. <laughs> All right, the bullet. The rider or the bullet? Uh, well, it doesn't matter because that doesn't hit either of them. <laughs> okay, <sure. laughs> but I'm going for the rider. All right. You, you, the hammer smashes into the wall behind it. it doesn't hit. Oh, it does hit. Nice. The, the rider, right? Yeah, yeah. The rider. Okay, so the rider takes a massive 21 points of bludgeoning. He basically catches the hammer in the chest. And uh, you crush him. He goes flying against the wall. And uh, he is perished. Uh, the bullet is angered. All right. Yeah. I think that's good for me, then. Good for you? Actually. Movement? E Bonus yeah, action? Um, let me think. Now nah, you're good. All right. All right. So this other stone melder, seeing his companions get just a blasted, what can he do? Hmm. Ah, yar, yar, yar. He is going to move just a little bit here. And then he's going to drop a shatter right here between you. Actually, more back here a little bit between you and... Can he hit all three of you? I'm going to say probably no. I think... Wait, is Shatter... What's the radius on Shatter? Is it 10 feet or 15 feet? Shatter's a cube. Oh, it's a cube? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, Kaylin, would you mind... Oh, no, no, it's a sphere. Stuff? It's a sphere. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was. Cube. It's a 10-foot no, right. radius sphere. 10-foot radius. Okay, so 20 feet. So he can, I think, catch both of you guys. Uh, so you are within 20 feet of... Oh, yes. All right, so he is going to aim it just beautifully enough to catch all three of y'all. Uh, so if you would please each give me, that would be Gitgrot and Farron and Boslon. Con save. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Woo! A crit for Farron. He is successful. Boslon is probably going to do well. Oh no! A 14! But guess what? That is enough. Nice. Yep. I and how about uh, oh, and a seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So all three of you uh, are successful uh, in your saves, which I believe means you take half damage, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. And what's the h? Da, 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 da. Uh, so you're gonna each take three d eight. Three d eight. Uh, he cast it at a little bit higher level, so it's thunder it's damage as well. Four d eight thunder damage here. No, no, no. So, 4d8 coming at ya. Oh, big roll. 16 points of thunder damage. Uh, you each take half, so you take 8 points of thunder damage. Uh, certainly could have been worse. Uh, luckily, you all have fantastic constitution. Uh, minus... Eight. So your ears are all ringing now. Uh, shards of stone have just blasted your armor, your skin, anything that's exposed. And uh, he is no dummy. She, rather, is no dummy. She is going to scoot back around the corner out of sight. Uh, that's her turn. The burrow shark is dead, but the bullet is angry. Uh, Odd is going to go for Kaelin. Even is going to go for Kyra. It goes for Kaelin with a bite. He's going to do a bite. Nice. And it hits! A massive... Ooh. It just clamps down across your chest. You feel your, you feel your breastplate, you know, Crunch. crunching into your skin. Crunch uh, time! 36 piercing damage. Uh... 
to 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 Kalen. He's now on death's door. You all see blood spray everywhere and hear Kalen cry out in horrendous pain. The Black Earth guards uh this dude is going to bolt cuz he does not want to die. This dude is going yeah. to start something you can't finish, dude. They're all freaking fanatics. Uh, but uh, the other one saw Yarsha move back, and probably Yarsha said something to him to the effect of like, "Get the hell out of there, you dumbass!" <laughs> and uh, so uh, he is going to. Uh, unfortunately, this guy is in toe to toe, so he's going to fight to the death. So he gets two attacks at Bosslon, a miss, and a hit. So, with a soft crit, his first clobber with the Morning Star whiffs entirely. It's bashed away by the shield of Bosslon. The second one pounds Bosslon in the knee. Uh, he will reduce the damage by three and only take eight points. Uh, but it still didn't feel good. Uh, and that is the end of another round. So, back to the top. Kyra, the the. Burrow Shark is a splatter on the wall, thanks to uh, Gitgrot's mass or mighty hammer, and uh, the bullet just just nearly decimated Kaylin. Uh, what can you do to bring some does, love does into the look, game? It's does it like look like it's full of vigor? <laughs> it is looking pretty good. Yeah, it, it's it only took. A minimal amount of damage so far so it's it's injured but it, it's minor at this point um this black earth guard still stayed next to that fire oh so shit i forgot that, to move he's him have to yeah take he's his, dead uh, yeah he's dead. on my turn right no yeah i keep forgetting and and that's fair i, I that's my fault because i'm not paying attention so he dies <laughs> he he's he tries <laughs> to fight to the end and forgets to move his he's like it's hot it's hot but he's just dead his legs stopped working. Yeah, he couldn't move. He, he, yeah, he swung from his knees and like the the fire just burns him and he falls over. Um. Okay. Uh. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, um, Kalen, um, get the hell out of there. I'm going to give him a healing word, and then I'm going to use my action to disengage and get out of here. Okay. So, healing word, healing word, healing word, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. Oh, really? Jeez. So, she, she says, Kaylin, get up and get out of here. And you're like, <laughs> you, you get, you get five is better than nothing. Hey, five, yeah, five hey. is better than none. All right. So then I disengage and run myself over here. So this is 10, 15, 20. You can basically go 25, 25 yeah. 30, right there. Sure, that's perfect. All right. Uh, all right. Um, uh, that's all I'm going to do. That means Kaylin is your turn. The thing uh, is. Go ahead, Greg. So you were going to say that. <laughs> technically, you're not is. in the things mouth because it doesn't have that ability but you're sort of in the thing's mouth so like what do you want to do the thing is is Kalen's not going to run I, I knew mean, you were going to say Kalen's that going to go down fucking fighting I mean if he dies if he dies he dies oh, he ain't Valor fucking running dead. he's fucking right. pissed now I mean he is just like he's like you know those those samurais oh that you've beaten down at the end of that fucking old Japanese you know yep. samurai flick well you know he's just a He's just ready should, to go back. Even in death, a samurai should be able to complete one final action. So you're not quite there yet, but you're feeling exactly. like you are. <laughs> so you know what I'm doing. Let's, let's see it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Whiff. Oh, no. Super just whips. decimated by the... You, you, the bullet incensed by the blood in its you know and gore in its uh, in its craw is just like is just 
moving and shaking and rattling around and and it's almost like it's almost like it's goading you like putting its head right in your face and and you lost all your strength man it just like it nearly killed you in that one blow and you just you claw you like hammer down on this thing but you just for whatever reason till you catch your breath don't have the strength to pierce through its tough leathery hide uh it's almost like stone so so tough uh keltar stands there again wanking himself in the corner waiting he's like tapping his foot like how long will this take and uh Bosselon's turn again comes around so seeing that those two other freaks dodged back down the corridor doesn't see them as a threat but does see this bullet obl that is nearly obliterating Bosselon as a threat the trouble is he's in the erupting earth so all he can do this turn is dash so he will get over here to give you advantage but that's all he can do Farron how are you going to okay. bring some love into the scene um I guess I can shoot my bow seeing as there's people there oh that is a hit you catch the bullet probably in the leg in the soft squishy spot it takes oh yeah a little bit of damage 12 fantastic and your second hit is also a hit so it takes another nine piercing so it's it, it felt those stings it, it actually flinches from both of those uh, strikes with the the arrows are like lodged in its body at this point and can't do much about it Ooh. movement bonus action I'm gonna move back up to there just in case the people come back sure all right get a little more out of the way Gikrot, mm -hmm. what would you like to do all right so the the blue is still having a a, a, a a fun time down there still looking healthy it's it's still looking pretty darn tough it's been right. injured it's it's definitely been injured you've seen it get uh, struck but it's still looking damn tough uh, remember it takes you twice as much movement so that's too much oh, that's only right. 25 because of the uh... yeah the earth the black and the yellow squares are both an extra five so that would be that's right. so if you moved out of the square here that would be uh, here that would be five that would be 10 where you are essentially so you can move another 15 feet but you can only really move into one of those two squares. Yeah. Um, that's going to mess this Although, up. Although, theoretically, you could get down to here, which would be a total of 5, 10, 15, 20 feet if you want, and then stand there. I won't but that doesn't much. really help much. Yeah, sorry. No. I was and I thought it might wall. get you a little. I was trying to get as close to Kaylin as possible, but obviously that's not. Uh, the best you could do would be to get to this square here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, that one right there. If you came along the erupting earth and then dodged into it at the last second. All right, so then I'll just hammer. Chuck throw my hammer. hammer. Yes, yeah. that's what a dwarven thrower is for. That hits. So, 14 damage from your first crushing blow, and another uh, 11 damage, so a total of 25 bludgeoning. It is now looking pretty bruised and bloodied. Already. Fantastic. That's all I can do. All right. Yarsha is off in the darkness somewhere. Uh... And uh, you're probably never going to hear from Yarsha again. I'm going to take her off the uh, initiative order. So, the bullet. Oof. It's... I mean, the logical thing for it to it's do to would be to go me, after dude. Kaylin. Would, I, I, you, I, have yeah, so. you have to. You have to. <laughs> I made my. I made my decision. I mean, I agree. That's the smartest <laughs> oh, thing for God. it to do. It has to go after no. Hey, can I? GG. I use my inspiration to make it reroll. Uh, uh, 
your uh, uh, DM's inspiration? Yeah. Sure. What What are you gonna do or say to to affect that? Oh, um. Hey, big meanie. <laughs> don't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Something. Hey, stop it. Be nice. <laughs> uh. Like, hey, look at all your babies. They're all dead. <laughs> or something, I don't know. <laughs> He's going for the traumatic so approach. You're, you're <laughs> trying to distract it. Hi, I'm the gal. All right. So, Mark. Know. Mark off your inspiration. Oh. I'm dead. Well, no, that was a miss. The first one was a hit. Yeah, but he used his inspiration. He used his inspiration. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. I'm not oh, sure God. if that's actually how it works, but I like it, so we're going to do it. So go. Yeah, so there you go. So so he somehow, Farron says something that it probably doesn't even understand, but... Uh, I mean, tech. Let's see. Technically, uh, you're probably too far away. That would have been an insta kill, like above, above, like. No, because it's not enough to do. It's not more uh, damage than he his maximum. He would have been fine. Okay. Yeah, he'd just been knocked out. And I would have left him there because I told him to move, and he, he was like, oh, yeah. "I ain't listening to you. Shut Hor up, girl." <laughs> horrendously <laughs> injured, but um, not dead. Uh, so. With that, uh, it is going to be. Hold that thought, y'all. Uh, it is going to be top of the round again, I suppose. That was sort of a rare case. Technically, you're only supposed to use it for yourself, but... Yeah, well, that's why I asked. I was like, hey, can I use it? Like, yeah. It would have been fine if you said no. All right. But I did say yes, so it's all right. Uh, he could still kill him. So, uh, yeah, all right. He's not so... going to disengage a move. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's the end of it. Uh, so it's uh, Kyra, you're up. Um... Kyra just shakes her head. She's not going to say anything. Actually, no, you know what? It's not dumb, and I think it says it would go... Uh, I apologize. I think it would burrow out and get out, get the F out uh, with that. So, let me double check, but I'm pretty positive Ooh. that's what they do. Oh. Stab it on its way going south. Yeah, it's going to burrow out of there. So it just uh, it just dives down through the earth at the end of its turn. Can they have their attack of opportunities? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. As it's crawling into the stone. Uh, that's a hit for 16, so Bosselon does some damage. Uh, Kaelin, you want to take it a, an attack? Yeah, I mean, if I can. Yeah. It, I mean, it's moving away from you, so. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I mean, it's kind of a weird situation. Like, it, it wouldn't be out of your reach until it's actually underground, but whatever. It's sick. So... So, uh, Bosselon kind of pokes it in the rear as it dives down into the earth and, and disappears. And it's uh, to show its flank when it dives away, so to So, think. nearly, nearly having died, Balin catches his breath, and what would you all like to do? Well, that is the question, isn't it? What do you want to do now after you've nearly been eaten by a bullet? Uh, so with Caitlyn almost being chomped into little bits, I figured that was probably a good point to cut this session into two parts. And uh, 
stay tuned for part two of session 47. I'll have that out for you guys in just a moment. Thank you for joining us for this incredibly interesting session. Lots of combat. We pretty much did combat the whole time. There's there's more exploration and all kinds of hijinks in part two, so stay tuned. I hope to see you at a table someday, and until then, keep rolling 20s.